Hi everyone, it's Tawanda from Little Zoo and welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a wedding invitation that looks like this one here. So, getting started, I'm going to open up GIMP. And the first thing I'm going to do is go to File, New, and then I'm going to choose a template. An A5 template should do. And then it should be portrait, not landscape. And then we can go to background color. I'm going to choose background color with white. And then I'm going to select OK. Right. Having done this, the first thing I'm going to do is add an image. This image right at the top there. So I downloaded some of these images from freepick.com. So I'm going to click and drag. Put that there. And then scale it. Click scale. So you'll notice on this image, you don't see this distinct demarcation between the image and the background. So what to do that to achieve that effect, I'm going to create a new layer and name it white gradient. And then I'm going to select my gradient tool and then change the colors to black and white and have white on top. And then make sure that foreground to transparent is selected. Now I'm going to click right around here and drag upwards. The next stage is to add this floral pattern in the top left and bottom right hand corner. Again, I already have this image readily available. So again, just position that and then we scale it. They should be fine. Click scale. Now you'll notice that on this image, because the hand, part of the hand is visible and it's darker, you can't really see the white, the blue design on this pattern. So what you can do to overcome that is you can change the color of the pattern by selecting it or making sure that the layer is selected and then going to colors and changing the hue and saturation of that design. So like this, you can have it any color you want. But in this case, I just want to maintain it as, as that shade of blue. So I'll click, I'll cancel that. And then I'm going to create a new layer right beneath that. And I'll name that layer corner gradient. So naming layers makes it easier for you when you are to identify and edit or rearrange or organize your layers. So that's why I prefer naming my layers. So I'm going to click OK on that. With that corner gradient layer selected, I'm going to go back to the gradient tool, click in the corner there and drag. Right, and then just put a white gradient in just enough to have that design of ours pop. And then that's it. The next stage is to add our text, various or several layers of text. And from the previous tutorials, I'm sure you now know how to add text onto an image. But if you don't, it's really easy, it's really simple. Just click on the text tool. In this case, I'm gonna change my font color before I add the font. I'll be using this one with HTML notation 092C6B. But again, you can use whatever color you want. Click OK. And then we're gonna type in save Edit. The font I used on the initial design is Edwardian script, so I'm going to be using that again. And then the font size, I think I might just increase it to 250. Let's see what that looks like. All right, that's fine. Now, when it comes to positioning your font, you can do it manually, but if you're afraid that it might not be aligned, you can always go to image, guides, new guide by percentage, and in this case, in 
in this case I'm going to be adding a vertical guide so it's a vertical guide at 50% click OK and then I'll zoom in and use that to guide where I'm going to position my text see how it more or less snaps to that guide it makes it a whole lot easier all right so now we're going to be adding these other sections or these other layers these are the text layers And really that's about it we've added all the necessary details so the moment someone receives it they're gonna know that it's a wedding invitation if you want you can add more details onto that but really the basics are there what the invitation is about who's getting married when and where the location is and the contact number whenever they want to RSVP or whatever now ideally in a normal situation this would be simple and straightforward you can use this or release this share it with your friends colleagues or whoever you want to share it on any social media platform or as a soft copy but then you can always go you can also go the extra step of adding a picture of the couple if you have one ready and as i mentioned earlier on i downloaded my pictures from freepic.com so i'm going to be using this one i've already made adjustments i've removed the background and i've desaturated it adjusted the color levels making it making the darker parts darker and well as well as the light parts making them slightly darker than they're supposed to be so i'm just going to scale that and put it in the corner like this obviously removing the background isn't as accurate and graphic but you get the general sense just going to put it here that should be fine click scale and then I'm going to adjust the transparency so that it doesn't really cover up our font. So I'll leave it at 70%. Of course, you can go ahead and make sure you make the adjustments you want, depending on the design or look and feel you're after. But yeah, basically, that's it. That's how you design a wedding invitation in GIMP. As always, thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel.